Animal advocates are questioning whether human-animal hybrid studies are worth the potential cost of animal welfare or the risk of creating non-human animals with human-like qualities. Kenya will host the next global gathering of scientists in 2020. Meanwhile, Neff is confident the next Einstein will come from Africa. We're actually going to be launching a new program to encourage uh, girls, not only girls, but mostly women that are doing their PhD, their postdoctoral, to actually come work in our lab as an assignment. You can imagine having a solar panel on your roof and a very high capacity battery beneath that can, you can use to store excess energy during the afternoon and at night you don't need to bother you know, with you know, the distributed electricity because you have sufficient electricity at home. According to a British health tech company, Modius helps the human body to lose weight by using electric stimulation and activating the brain's hypothalamus. CEO and co-founder of Newer Valance, Dr. Jason McKeon said, the nerve stimulation is interpreted by the brain as a signal to reduce body weight, decrease appetite and enhance metabolism. Despite the digital revolution, African researchers still suffer from a lack of global exposure. To change this trend, NERF has launched an open access journal to promote research by Africans. Visibility of African research, training of African researchers, research institutions and policy makers, and understanding of the local element all need attention. At the 2018 and next Einstein Forum, women are poised to break down barriers in the world of tech. From science, technology, engineering and mathematics, these women are pushing industry players to focus the attention on innovative policies that are geared towards advancing the status of women in science. Five minutes past 10 o'clock. Um, in the evening and this is Kanishi. It's one of the stations at Kanishi but for Ama and her 11 month old daughter is their home after these stores have closed. All right so many thanks to you. I appreciate your time with me this evening uh, and that's uh, Ben Doce Malo, his head of communications and also presidential spokesperson at the siege of government. One of the biggest stories that the capital has witnessed this week and the debate on the demolition of one of the biggest slums in Ghana, Sodom and Gomorrah has begun. And talk about issues. At the end of the day, you don't necessarily find a major improvement in the issues that were tabled for discussion. How different will this meeting or talk be? What should we expect at the end of the meeting? The United States regulator, the Food and Drugs Administration and the UK's Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency have classified the Modus headset as a general wellness device. The product was unveiled at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And that's it for SciTech right here on African News. Let the conversation continue on Twitter. Follow me at Ignatius Anno and use the hashtag The Morning Call. Thank you for watching. <music>